The t-test is a parametric test used to determine the statistical significance of the difference between the means of two and only two groups of values. By parametric, it is meant that the data are normally distributed in a normal or bell-shaped curve. A very popular, popular use of a t-test is in an experiment where the researcher has established a control group and an experimental group that need to be tested and compared on some type of performance. Another example of how a t-test could be used would be to test the means of the differences between females and males in terms of their opinions on some phenomena. The t-test uses the mean, the variance, and a table of critical values for a t-distribution to calculate a t-value. The rejection or acceptance of the statistical significance of the differences in two means is based on a standard that no more than 5% of the difference is due to chance or sampling error, and that the same difference would occur 95% of the time should the test be repeated. Some researchers use a more rigorous standard of 1%, and that the same difference would occur 99% of the time should the test be repeated. The t-test usually is displayed in a study or report as follows. The experimental treatment group M equals 86.50, SD equals 4.31, scored significantly higher than the control group M equals 79.10, SD equals 5.22, T parentheses 80 equals 4.90, P is less than 0.05, where M equals the mean, SD equals the standard deviation, t equals a t value. The number in parentheses after the t value equals n, which is the number of cases adjusted for degrees of freedom, and p indicates the level of statistically significant difference between the two means. In the above example, p is the value that most researchers would examine to see at what level a statistically significant difference exists. Figure A.8 shows the results of a t-test procedure executed with SPSS. In this figure, the data comes from a study of microcomputer use in two school districts. A t-test procedure is being used to compare the means of the number of microcomputers per school in the two districts. The data in the equal variance assumed row of figure A.8 show that the t-statistic is 1.132 and the p-value or significance is 0 0.260. Since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, there is no statistically significant difference in the means of the number of microcomputers in the schools in the two regions. The SPSS t-test procedure includes a feature to determine if the variances of the two groups are equal. This is called the f-statistic in the Levine test. This is a basic test for determining if the data is normally distributed. In this example, the significance value of the f-statistic is 0.15. Because this value is greater than 0.10, one can assume that the groups have equal variances and ignore the equal variances not assumed test in the lower row. If the variances were not equal, the F statistic significance value would be 0 0.10 or lower, and one would then use the lower row output. The SPSS pr program commands that generated the previous example are shown in figure 8.9.